I'm not a student of the Soul Sounds Academy, but merci madame for the accompaniment. Well done, come I on. believe I pitched correctly. Yeah. Soul Sounds happened quite by accident, you were telling me. Yes, it did. I Why never, the accident? Well, I never planned it. So here, the school choir actually wanted some training. So when I had come back from London after my music, uh, I just went to tra uh, train the HFC choir and they won a carol competition that was here locally. And I felt that reached a certain standard and by nature I'm somebody who gets bored and wants to do new things. You work best under stress. And uh, totally, uh, yes. When you're relaxed, you're not yourself. Yeah, I'm not myself. So, yeah, so we won this competition and I was like, what next? And there was this conductor called Gregory Rose who had come at that time to conduct a concert here. And he heard the choir and said, why not enter them for the Lang Lachlan Wales Ice Stedford competition? And we went there as the Holy Family Convent Choir and we were the first runners up in the youth choir category. And uh, when we came back, half of the girls had to leave school because they had finished. And we were wondering what to do, so we just got together and just sang. And then we thought of a name, and then it was Soul Sound. Sounds as in the sound, or as in soundry sounds? No. You're also we called sounds. We thought of sounds, okay. but it so happened that it was Your connected soundry. to my name. Yeah. What is the primary reason for the phenomenal success of the Soul Sounds over the past uh, 14 years? I think. Um, our passion for music and our passion to do different things and if you have actually observed the girls of Soul Sounds, at least the founder members, they are also very strong women and they know what they want and I think that has kept us all together and uh, we all work best under stress. I mean we all have different careers, I mean I have my law, my work, the girls, some of them are teachers, bankers, lawyers. So. I mean, just coming together for practices is tough. But like I said, we work best time. It's also distressing, I believe. Yeah, for all being of them. together, singing together, it is a second family to all of us. So it is distressing. Now, working with you, for you, under you is not the easiest of uh, circumstances because you're very exacting, you're tough, uh, you get in not tantrums, but you're a difficult person because you want the best out of people. So, with all that, how do you extract the best out of out of your out of your singers? Uh, it's challenging because also we are also in a day and age where they have other commitments, academic studies, work. So I constantly try to tell them it's okay, you can balance both. And then I just say, listen, I did my law and music and you can. And just pushing them, driving them. It is sometimes exhausting because you are so, I mean, drained of energy that you don't have energy for yourself. But on the long run, it is very fulfilling. Soundry Soul Sounds, how many of the girls are permanent members and how many form the floating population? Okay, so the core members, we have right now about 15 to 18, so they remain. I mean, there are times they take breaks because they have other commitments as well, but we, they are the founder members and so they are always there. And we keep taking new people, so now they get from junior to like a mid-level and so they are Hierarchy in the choir also changes over time. There are those who take breaks for studies, which now I kind of understand. I kind of rotate based on the voices we have. So, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to survive for 14 years. What does a girl need to have to end up as a soul sounds girl in your main choir? So, okay. The one that you showcase. Okay, so what you, I mean, you would have known that it is predominantly for medians, Holy Family Convent girls, but no longer is it only for You've medians. opened out now? We've opened out, so we have LCI, it's Bridgetians, uh, international schools, other. But the first thing is passion to perform, passion for music. Uh, ideally, I would like them to be from, say, training under me prior to actually coming to Soul Sounds. So they would be part of the Soul Sounds Academy Choir, and then maybe some of them have started with me as juniors and then over time I see their commitment, I see their dedication and I invite them to be part of Soul Sounds. But if there are others, for example, Jerome is our artistic director, so he's worked very closely with us. When he identifies talent from the workshoppers who he feels has an amazing voice, then he tells me and we, yeah, so sometimes recommendations. So you're feeding well. Colombo with good trained voices? Kind of, yeah. And more than, uh, yes, trained voices is uh, a must, but more, than, see, not every singer in Soul Sound will become a soloist. So ah, there are some that voices. That was my next question. Yeah. 
So there are some voices that may not be solo voices, but they are good choral voices, and then they have the passion to sing, passion to perform, and I think most importantly for soul songs, the passion to think or the ability to think differently. Because we never do the usual stuff. We always keep pushing and doing new things. Why are you gender specific? <laughs> That's a tough question. Okay, over the years, this is, uh, I mean, no offense. It was a family choir. It yeah. began as that, I understand. But now, for example, in the Soul Sounds Academy Choir, we have uh, boys as well. But something that I've noticed is that it's very difficult for me to get commitment uh, from boys. I mean, they're not regular for rehearsals. And so kind of it's very tough to work with them. But that being said, I mean, I do respect there are the success stories of Revelations, Voice Print. So maybe me handling them is just not right. I don't know. It's just you're, easier for me You're to having a forthcoming tour this year, I believe, the Soul Songs. Us, be going uh, yeah, that, actually that's a smaller tour with just a soloist from Soul Sound. Soul Sounds, uh, the Soul Sounds Children's Choir is actually taking part in the World Choir Games in South Africa. So that's going, that's from the Academy. Where do you see the Soul Sounds in the next 25 years? See, like I told you, Soul Sounds just happen. So, I don't know, I don't... It I mean, has to continue, I believe. Yeah, I hope I mean, so. But I do realize there's more challenges and also I'm focusing a lot on my solo playing and some original works of late. So that's taking a lot of my time as well, but but I hope Soul Sounds, there's a lot of young talent coming up, so I hope Soul Sounds remains for as long as it can. You never but thought of singing with the Soul Sounds? I mean, a guest appearance for a show, one single blue moon, for example. I am not a singer, Kuma. I'm a pianist. And I would direct them musically, but I would never want to perform as a singer because I'm not a singer. And the academy, you said that in the academy you use music as music therapy. Yeah, because I think for all of us, and I'm sure you'd agree, I mean, you sang beautifully now, like music is therapy, it takes us away from the daily challenges of life. So when about in 2012, when I was judging at the World Choir Games in Cincinnati, there was a choir of children with special needs. A choir and, yes. of children? Yes. I mean, they may not have been technically perfect, but they were really moving. And that moved me, and then I realized that you could use music as therapy to help children with special needs. How does it help them specifically? Um, I mean, I've seen, for example, children with autism, of course, you know there's a broad spectrum there. Yeah. But uh, we have individual sessions with them, and then gradually they mingle with our normal kids, with normal children. And we see over time how they ease into that. And it helps them, I think, deal with the issues they have to face because of what they have. So, and then, I mean, children with Down syndrome, for example, are supposed to have perfect pitch, although they're not aware of it. So that you is don't music. Have Down no, I don't have Down syndrome. We have one of our Soul Sounds lead soloists, uh, one of our girls who's qualified to do so, so she conducts those classes. Uh, another thing special about Soul Sounds Academy is most of the vocal teachers are our senior Soul Sounds girls. So there is a future. It's not just about performing. Do you have a second? generation in the Soul Sounds Academy? Any of your senior girls has brought their daughter or son? Oh, into yes. I uh, mean, we have a... So uh, you have a second yes, generation yes, now? Yes, yes, and they are now singing in the children's choir, yeah. Lovely, wonderful chat. Thank you so much for being my guest. We meet you again. We talked now in the next sequence uh, over coffee. So, to, uh, Soundri, the uh, pianist and the accompanist. So catch you soon on anything but with, not me, Tom Hitesh.